Merry Christmas, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video of the two Burger King employees. The one on the right is my granddaughter, and she is the reason why I am here. She's the reason why I do videos, because if it wasn't for her, I would not be here, and she knows that. I call her my miracle, because she is. Uh, but... I'm going to show you my Christmas stocking. Are you ready for this? I have yet for a guy to fill it up. Okay, here it is. This, here it is. It's the, okay. Okay. Maybe somebody out there would fill up the stocking. Yeah. Post Office Box 264, Colonial Beach, Virginia, 22443. It would be great if somebody out there filled up the stocking. Usually, I just fill it up with uh, newspaper or plastic bags. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and a shout out to you men who wait to the last minute. Uh, yeah, that's usually what men do, but my mother had to do that. And I'll tell you why, because my father did not have a regular payroll. He was self-employed and it was a hit or miss whenever we got, um, or my, whenever my mother got paid. So usually it was at the drug fair in Fairfax in, uh, near Kemp, Washington, uh, and she would go into the drug fair probably at nine o'clock at night. Whatever was left on the shelf is usually what we got. And I remember one year she got me a watch that reminded me of my grandmother's watch. Now, because there was five kids, we only got like two presents a piece. And I remember moaning and groaning about it and to the point where my mother took it back and got me something else. But in retrospect, let me tell you what, always take a gift graciously. Never, ever complain about a gift because that is still weighing on my conscience and she, she's been gone for three years. So if someone takes the time to buy you something, you don't know, you don't know the circumstances surrounding that. Just take the gift, thank them and be gracious about it. Okay. Uh, but I will tell you this, if your girlfriend or your wife has given you a list, you better follow the list because she'll be greatly disappointed. It's always good to add in a couple extra things. So she is surprised, but the, my boyfriend I've had for the last three years, I only asked like for one or two things and he never got the things. I specifically gave him three different, I guess, colognes. He came back with something that wasn't on the list. Now, I will still use it. I'm going to sneeze. Oh, my God. <coughs> <coughs> my God, I'm sorry. Hold up. All right. I want to, I want to show you something. I do the, oh, I do the elf on the shelf with Barbies, okay? This is what I used to look like. Okay, let me get the other elf. Hold on. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 okay, I ordered these from China for like a third of the price, and it came with a girl, and I gave the girl elf to my granddaughter, and you can do some interesting elf on the shelves with the Barbie, yeah, so, hope you liked my stocking, now hold on. I did a Christmas story about Santa Claus. My grandchildren actually thought my extra Santa Claus. These are the bells that I would shake in the woods. And I would do this when my grandchildren, it was dark, they were outside, and we would tell them that Santa Claus was near because they could hear the bells. So that's something interesting to do. 
these are heavy. It's like eight foot long. Okay. Uh, what else can we talk about? Yeah. That's the thing. Uh, with my ex-boyfriend. I decorated his whole house with Christmas spirit. I mean, every room was decorated. And I only asked for two things. And I asked for a Chico, it's a clothing store, Chico gift certificate. And bless his heart, he went into Chico's and he bought some stuff. But, and I have worn, I've worn it on these videos, some, the couple, the sweater he got me or whatever, but, um, us big breasted women, there's certain things we can't wear. You know, it's better if we wear low cut because it doesn't, it flatters us more than something that is a crew neck, if you see what I'm trying to say. But he gave me a list this long and I bought everything exactly what he wanted on the list and even other things. Like I think I got him um, silverware uh socks i gave him a shoe shine kit which is uh something he asked for and um i got him seat cushions for his dining room table and this is what i'm trying to tell you if if your boyfriend or husband doesn't take that little extra time to make you smile on christmas then they're not genuine i mean i I would go over and beyond the call of duty, and I did, to get him everything on his list. Uh, yeah, so. But when it comes to your mom or your sister or brother, they're always going to be in your life. Always be gracious. And my brother, you know, when I went to Saratoga, New York with me, you know, when his matzo bella, his horse won, uh he just told me he sent me a christmas present now other than my ex-boyfriend that i was been with for three years i haven't really gotten any presents from my family because i have like three thousand people in my family and we all get lost in the shuffle even though i'm the matriarch i'm the oldest of like six or seven generations but i already have everything that i need my health is pretty good and pretty stable right now and earlier today i said to my uh granddaughter I said listen I'm gonna take a leave of absence she goes nanny what operation are you having now I said no I'm actually going on vacation because she thinks whenever I take a leave it's for another operation and so this is gonna be a happy time but I wanted to go over you know after watching the Chris Watts case and he had to explain to the police the scars that his wife had from a car accident I wanted to go over some of my scars uh let me tell you what I don't look like this all the time for you girls who say oh I'm pretty whatever no you haven't seen me very few videos I've done with bare face because I've got a lot of sun damage because I was a child of the 60s where we just worship the sun i mean we were out i always had the darkest tan in town by the end of april and i lived in virginia so you can see how much of a suntan that i was but back to my scars um when i was 16 i had my head split open from here to here and that was a serious accident very serious and now i'm just talking about the scars on my face i have scars all over my body but i'm just going to Talk about the scars on my face okay now when I was a little girl my mother said a dog bit me and I have a little scar right there okay then uh, when I was a deputy sheriff I wrecked on black ice on a midnight shift and broke this bone so uh, I sniff a lot I mean people that used to think I did you know you know what I'm trying to say well I never have I it's because this bone's been broken and I also had um, precancerous, uh, what's it called, acetonic ketosis, I can't even pronounce it, but whatever. They had to do a puncture twice and stitch me up two different times to get that cancer out. And um, also I got burned as a little girl stirring gravy when I lived in Winchester. I got these gravy burns. And then um, back in the early 90s, I got thrown through a windshield and I have stitches in this eye here 
and it gave me a little bit of a, if you look real careful, you could tell a little bit of a lift here. And uh, I remember the doctor sewing me up and like blood was squirting across the room and my, and my, my husband at the time was helping the doctor actually stitch me up. Uh, that was pretty bad. And this whole side of my face was smashed in. I had a black eye for like two months, if you can imagine, because this whole side of my face went through the windshield. Uh, and I got other injuries too, which uh, I'm not going to go into. But let me tell you what. I think the scars on people tell a story. It lets people know that you've been through a lot, you know? So, uh... I hope you go buy an elf on the shelf for next year and you could do interesting little themes through your house. Um, but in the meantime, this is my stocking. Yes, I could. It's so big I could use it. <laughs> I could use it as a scarf. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching.